Hello, and welcome to a Pressure Night review of SH Figure Arts Fire Mario. Now, I know this review has been a long time coming, and I have not had the chance to do it with work and school. And please excuse my poor backdrop of a cardboard box held up by a ream of paper. My desk is actually being used for stuff for school, so I cannot use that, so this is just kind of an impromptu setup. But anyways, here we have the SH Figure Arts Fire Mario. And I did pick up this figure at GameStop on clearance for 17 bucks, 18 bucks, which is not bad. I do have the Jack specific Mario, but it's kind of on a shelf behind some stuff, so I can't really get it. But anyways, here we have Mario in his his flower power, fire power, whatever you want to call it. We always call it puck power, but that's just us. Now, before we take a look at Mario himself. We are going to look at his accessories. He does come with a little fire flower, whatever you want to call it again. It's up to you. We call it a puck power. Now, it does come off of the base and, you know, it just slides right on there. Does have articulation, of course. It moves down here and it moves right up here. But very nicely painted, very simple, very game accurate. You know, you can set that next to Mario. He does come with, I do have the clamshell off to the side here, it's just easier so I don't lose any of the bits. Two open hands. You got some nice detailing there, very cleanly painted. Very basic and very cleanly painted. And just slide that back in there. And his next accessories, I try to struggle to get it out. So the thing I don't really like about his clamshell is some things are very, very difficult to kind of get out. Some things are very easy to get out. And he comes with one of these, which is made out of a kind of a transparent plastic. It is clear. If you hold it up to the light, you can kind of see that it is kind of clearish. I don't know if it's completely translucent or it's just kind of a smoky translucent, but it's very nicely detailed. You do have a stand port. Very, very nice and cleanly painted. And for his last accessory, you have his glove hand with the fireball. Now, this is not removable from the hand, so it's one solid piece. So you have, you know, these two, but it looks to be this is the same sculpt as the open hand, which is a little weird, but it works. Let me just slide his accessories back into his clamshell here. And we'll get down to his last accessory, which not really an accessory, but kind of a crucial part. You have the stand adapter. Now I have seen reviews of the default Mario and he does not come with this so it's nice that this Mario does have the stand adapter and let me just get his stand out for you Oops, as I knock it on the floor he does come with a base which just you can kind of see my reflection there just it's just green there's no Detailing to it, and you can pop these out and move them around, you know, if you want. And with that, he does come with this longer stand arm, which, if you've ever seen a Bandai Tomashi Nation's Act 5 stand, I believe they are, or similar stands, it's just got the four joints, you know, pretty basic. You have the end that plugs into the base, the end that plugs into the figure. And to go along with his puck power, or the other fireball, whatever you want to call it, for the sake of this review, I'm just going to call it Puck Power, because that's what we referred to it as. You have the smaller arm. Now this is actually can be used with Mario, or it could be used with one of the Fireballs, which is nice that they give you options, and I have taken a few pictures and played around with it, but it is what it is. I'm not going to say it's the greatest thing ever, because it's really not. One thing, move this out of the way. One thing I do not like about these is if you only have Mario, the default Mario, your options are very, 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 very limited. 
and each set, I do have the other play set, I think it's play set B. It's the one that comes with the Goomba, the three blocks, and the coin. That was 20 bucks on Big Bad Toy Store. So if you only have Mario, your options are very, very, very limited. And that's one thing that I can't say that I'm too... I understand where Bandai's coming from. These are not play sets. These are, these are for adult collectibles. But on the other hand, it's very, very, very limited when you just get Mario. And it is aggravating because... On Big Bad Toy Store, the default Mario is still like 30 bucks. Again, I paid 20 for him, 17, 18 with taxes around 20. So it's a little aggravating that you pay 20 bucks for a figure like this, and there's very, very limited to what you can do. Now, granted, this figure does come with the stand and the different accessories, but again, there's only so much you can do. But we get into Mario proper here. You can see nicely painted and clean. Got his eyes are painted on very clean. Got his mustache, his mouth, a nice smile. The one thing that really bugs me is I wish that his shoes were matte as well as the rest of him because in the game, his shoes are shiny, but they're not shiny as in, you know, completely different. And they do stand out. When you're taking pictures, it is awkward because the rest of him is matte. It's a matte finish, and you can feel it how it's kind of a matte finish. And you get down here and it's soft and shiny. It is a bit of a distractor, but it's just one of the nitpicks. Some people are going to be okay with it. I'm on the fence about it. No peg holes. I'm going up the sides. In the back in here, you just want to take this piece. It is a bit awkward to get off the first time. Mine is a bit stiff. You pop that off, and then the stand adapter just pops right in there. Slide that back on. It does clip in there nice and secure. Top of the hat, you know. Now articulation wise, you can see he's got ball jointed thighs. They move forward that far. They will move up a little bit more. They move back. This actually does rotate. They move back that far. Which is a bit awkward because you can kind of see when I have that rotated back. It's a little awkward because it's supposed to be right there. They can only move out that far. Knees bend that far. And this piece is separate right in here. Or it's not separate. It's attached to the lower leg here. It's above the camera. So it does give the illusion that that's kind of a fluid motion right there. Which is nice. And the feet do rotate. I think they're on a ball joint. Arms do have kind of a forward and back butterfly joint. They move upward, oops, butterfly joint, they move upward that far down. They can do a full 360, kind of, almost. Elbows move that far. And he does have wrist rotation. And his head moves side to side that much. Up just a hair and down just a hair. And that's it. His articulation is actually pretty decent. Again, Mario is not a character that you're going to get into crazy action poses, but it is nice that you do have some pretty decent posability to kind of get him into some game-accurate poses. And I don't have anything really to measure him by, but he's pretty small. He's only a couple inches, about, you know, three or four inches. So that it is a little bit awkward, but Mario, again, is not a very tall character. But, yeah, if you can find this version or the default Mario... Both are the same figure, just different colors and different accessories, but all in all, he's a actually fantastically done figure. My only gripe is not his lack of accessories, but his lack of things that come, not accessories per se, as in, you know, hands and stuff like that, but accessories that come like a Goomba or a coin. He really only comes with a flower and some interchangeable hands. And I really wish he would have came with more, say, a Koopa or a Koopa shell. Because it, it's a nice figure, but when you factor in the price of the other sets, you're kind of looking at 40 50 bucks for a figure that really could have been all together. They could have sold everything all together with them. That's kind of my only gripe, is that there is other accessories, but you got to pay almost what 
almost the same, if not more, than what you paid for Mario. And that's kind of my only gripe with this figure. But even as you can see here in the light, you can see how his shoes reflect the light and the rest of them really doesn't. Now his eyes being reflective, I'm not too upset about, I'm not too nitpicky about that because that gives him more life. But the shoes, if you notice when you're looking at him, you're very drawn to his shoes, how reflective they are. And you can kind of see my reflection moving in his shoe a little bit if I move my hand over here. Which the rest of him, you just see my shadow, which obviously you're going to see regardless. But when you're taking pictures of him and you have the light kind of on him in certain ways... It is a distractor with the shoes being as shiny. That's my only real gripe about the figure. This figure, not his accessories. My, my real gripe with the entire set is the lack of accessories. But this has been a Prussian Night review of the SH Figure Arts Fire Mario. Sorry for the delay with school and work and everything. Things have been a mess. I am hoping to get the Armada <clears throat> Starscream, the original one. I'm hoping to get that one this week, and I'll try to do a review on him. If I don't get him this week, it will be a review on the Universe Minicon Iron Claw, or possibly, I'm trying to think of which figures I have here. A lot of my figures that I have been getting in the mail are kind of jumbled up. They're not here when they're supposed to be because of the way the mailing service is. But it'll either be Iron Claw or another Minicon, I can't think of his name right now, or Energon Hotshot. Possibly Armada Hotshot, I do have him, but he's not complete. So it'll be one of those three next. Thank you for watching, like if you liked this review, comment on what you liked or what I could do better, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will catch you next time.